a discussion with someone on Facebook a couple weeks ago that really haunts me. I mean, it really haunts me. When it comes to big tech censorship of Trump supporters and Republicans, and shutting down alternative social media platforms, and censorship of what is deemed as hate speech, he was saying that we should just let these people go underground. That they're a lost cause. That they will always be in the way of meaningful, positive change in society and the world. And we should just let them rot in their toxic echo chambers where they become more and more radicalized until they do really heinous things, and then we can just round them all up and throw them in prison. And figuratively throw away the key. That we should just let some of them become radicalized, because they're easier to deal with once they are. You know, once they're acting like a wild animal, they're easier to contain as a wild animal. It's the notion that once people go too far into a right-wing ideology, and who's to define what is too far, but anyway, once they go too far into a right-wing ideology, we should just throw them away. We should view them as trash to be thrown away. And if they get uppity about it, toss them in prison. I'm wondering how many other people, secretly or even not so secretly, hold these kinds of beliefs. I've heard some people hint at these types of beliefs, but never say it outright. How common do you think this kind of mindset is with people on the left? Or people who claim that they're on the left? Now, of course, I expect most people on the left to claim that it's, oh, it's almost nobody. It's, it's so rare. And then I expect that most people on the right will say, no, no, it's very common. But, you know, let's see what you have to say in the comments. Thanks.